Hello everyone, and welcome back to Adam's Legacy, our niche adventure where we are finally, finally, finally ending the great water migration with a bunch of babies. So the tribe generation that has led us to this island managed to travel across three islands led by Dragon. We had Ame with us. We still have Joe, Mar, Mia, Willow, Rocks, Fire, Flu, and Beak with us. But the time is now coming for them to leave behind children and carry on the next generation of this story and the legacy that will hopefully lead us all the way to the north and to home island so that is where we are picking off right where we left off last time with the realization that most likely the best way that we are going to be able to get to the next northern island and carry on is with a baby boom and it reminds me so much about the other species of fish who will actually migrate to a specific location and they will spawn and leave behind all of their babies to grow up in something like a mangrove. And that's really popular uh, for a lot of different fish species to go ahead and find places where they can have an estuary or a mangrove or a safe little reef to leave their eggs. Many species don't care and just like put their eggs out in the water wherever. But they will go to a place where they can leave their eggs and give their babies the fish fry, which is what you call a baby fish. A safe place to try to grow up and to try to thrive against any of the uh, predators who might be out there and to have little nooks and crannies to hide in and because we came to this big jungle and because we have these massive jungle trees I love the idea that that's what our nichelings are doing right now they have brought their young to a jungle area where they will leave them tucked gently into little places like these nooks and crannies to swim out and to avoid the dangers that are on land as they carry on and they're gonna dive into the sea and follow their instincts to the north. But we are done traveling with the elders and we're gonna go ahead and let them have as many babies as they want to or as many as they can have while we uh, say goodbye to them. And then the little babies, like Alix here, are going to begin to swim towards the right and we're gonna work our way slowly but surely up along the coast. We might spend a whole generation on this island just unlocking the things that we can. Like maybe we can get Stinky, uh, stinky Tail unlocked and we might be able to get the Purse Snout unlocked because we'll be able to lick each other plenty by getting all of the sticky fruit off of one another. And we can always, as long as we keep Water Body in the tribe, escape into the water anytime those giant apes come to try to eat us. So this will be fun. I've never tried to tackle a jungle island with a water body tribe before. And I think the results are going to be something special. But all right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna actually have Beak. I'll let her grab some food and then she's gonna come from this, this clamshell. And then she's gonna come and get comfy in the nest to give birth to her next baby. And then I'm going to go ahead and have little Karomi scooch over. And Rox is going to get comfy. Eat a clam shell. Let's see, who got the parasite? Okay, Mar got the parasite. We'll get it off of him pretty soon. Joe only has three days left to live, so I'm gonna go ahead and let her breed with Mar. Oh, and she had her new baby! And this is actually going to be our fishing tailed baby car after Jay Card Jay Carter. Car, welcome, welcome into our legacy. If you guys want to become one of our nichelings, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the random comment generator might pluck your name up so we can nichelingize it and add you into our grand legacy, which would be pretty exciting. And little Car, I didn't even notice he had fishing tail. So his fishing ability is four. If I think it has to be five to be able to take out those big giant piranha fish like in one swipe but we'll have to see all right so he's doing quite well we also have little font and we did have another little baby right over here let me pull up a new random comment and this is going to be quinn after robert quinn and quinn is a adorable double nimble fingered antelope purr snouted webbed hind legged little tiger shark quinn that's a bit of a mouthful and she actually is carrying a recessive toxic body, which would be really fun to see in the tribe, and recessive bird beak. 
And actually, Quinn, thinking of Toxic Body and thinking of some of the other things we might be able to unlock here, I don't think Toxic Body would be something we could do. Have we already unlocked Toxic Body? We already have unlocked Toxic Body too. We might start doing some colorations of Toxic Body because I think that would be really fun. Um, but the things that we could unlock here would include like Purr Snout because we would be able to lick off all of that fur. And then we're not in a hot climate, so we aren't going to unlock big ears. We don't have any Barina to breed with, so we won't unlock any of the Barina genes. Rounded ears can only be unlocked in story mode if we invite a member into the tribe with that. Not bird beak, because we, we can't fly, so we're not really going for flying at this point. And we might lose sticky tongue, but that's okay. Sticky tongue, I feel, is not one of the more useful genes. I'm not going to get big, bo big body or lean body. I might get hiccups though. Savannah horns we're only carrying in purely because we're starting to really breed for that. We haven't unlocked it yet. Antenna we might unlock if we stumble upon somebody. Ooh, peacock tail. We just need to do one more call and we can unlock peacock tail, which is completely not going to help us. But I wonder if you can bind a peacock tail and a uh, water body if you get like a beta fish. Do you guys think that makes basically like a beautiful beta fish nicheling? Ooh, I'm kind of enchanted by that idea. But all right, Quinn? Wait, have we not unlocked Swimming Tail? We've unlocked Tailfin, but not Swimming Tail, which is like the beaver tail. I wonder what the difference is between Swimming Tail and Tailfin. Do they both just give swimming? Hmm. Oh, and there we go, Stinky Tail. That's the thing we can unlock from collecting the smelly fruit tree fruit. So we might unlock Stinky Tail while we're here. We'll have to see. Uh, but all right, so little Quinn is doing well. We've got little Leo over here. She is also doing well. She has home island immunity, so we need to start marking all of the babies who have home island immunity because they will feel their instincts pulling us to the north, to the new lands. She's going to come and join Fire. And Fire, do you need to be anywhere to breed with anyone right now? Mia needs to go ahead and have her baby, so I'm going to plunk her down into the nest. Willow can possibly wait to have a baby for a day or two. She's still healing up, which is great. I want to see if we can find like another healing fruit. So I'll have her scout out over here. Joe needs to go ahead and have another offspring. And yeah, we've assigned her traits. We've assigned Mars traits. So I'll let Mia go ahead and pluck that off. And I'll let Joe go ahead and make a new nest. And I'm going to have Mar do a bit of swimming and see if we can find some food with him. We don't really need need food, but I do want to just keep an eye on that and make sure that we're gathering food when the opportunity... Ah! Don't purr at the fish, Fire! You were supposed to catch the fish <laughs> when the opportunity arrives. But all right, let's continue on with our little baby boom here in the bio. Oh, there's so many of them too! Holy cow! Okay, I need to pull up more of your guys' names. <laughs> All right, so look at this little guy. Webbed hind legs again, which, is that gonna help us swim better? Little Quinn, will it help you swim better? We'll have to see, my dear. Who got leeched? Oh, of course it had to be fire when he's all the way over here by himself. He can at least gather up some fish for us. Oh geez, there's leeches everywhere now. All right. Fire, would you scooch closer and then we can go ahead and have Leo help you out with that leech. But let's name all of the babies really quickly. So this is actually going to be Prime. Holy cow, look at him. His whole body is so dark and he's got such a really cool little striped tail. He reminds me of like a venomous fish. That is so awesome. But this is going to be Prime after Spark Fire Prime. Welcome, welcome. This is indeed going to be a full water trip. I'm pretty darn excited about this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So he looks really amazing. I can't believe Webtine Legs is coming out at us. Normally, I would be very desperate to get away from Webtine Legs. But since our nichelings can swim and that's what they're supposed to be focused on, we should be fine. Alix does not have home island immunity, but she does. Let's see. And then Beak can have more children, but I think we might start scooching her to the other side to have them. So we'll take apart a couple of these nests and then have she start swimming. All right, she 
Yeah, look at that, four. She's terrible on land for speed, but she's really good at swimming. So we might really have a great water body tribe at this point. And Beak has been having some healthy babies with flu. G and star immunity, G and H immunity. Do we have star on that guy? We do. So we're keeping star here, A and H immunity. And yeah, Beak is gonna risk it with anybody that she mates with. So I think we'll go ahead and have her do that and then i think they feel really comfortable they've never really found a large predator in the waters so i think the whole tribe feels super comfortable just letting their babies kind of catch up because it's so easy for them to turn around and immediately be by their side even though they're kind of far away so i think it's okay to leave some of the babies behind in the water because they assume that the baby could just like pick up the current and come right after them and then right over here we have this little guy who has recessive platypus beak. Welcome, welcome, little one. You have quite a bit of strength and a little bit of fishing. Do you have fishing tail? No, but he has tail fin. Oh, he's going to be a good, strong swimmer. Look at him. He is definitely a little tiger shark. And this is actually going to be plasma. Now we have prime and plasma. Plasma, I'm so glad you've been enjoying our niche adventures and that you are diving in to begin playing them as well. No pun intended, well, pun fully intended on the diving, because, you know, we're currently surrounded by a bunch of water-bearing nichelings. And look at little Ria here, after Maria. Oh, Ria, look at her. She has no horns, so we're going to really have to push to try to get the horns on her head so that we can have more strength. But she has E immunity and H immunity. Look at her beautiful mask. We have not really had many masked nichelings before, so it's really exciting to see that start popping up more often. It looks like we are indeed carrying the home island immunity in the next generation pretty strongly too, which is good. And little Rhea, you're so cute! And then we've got another little boy! Oh my gosh! Alright, let me pull up another name, and this is going to be Lee! <laughs> After Bella Lee! Oh, this is so cool! Welcome, Lee. I love him. He's going to be such a good fisher. He has got claw. He just need. he really needs to have some horns. So we're going to give him little horns. That's going to be one of the first things we do just to make sure that hopefully they will pass on some type of horn. The ram horn gene is very tricky. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this for quite some time, actually, but if you have the gene for no horns it's very dominant and you will really struggle to get any kind of horns in but if you have any other kind of horn gene like savannah horns antlers ram horns if you have any of those they kind of can swap between each other pretty easily but the big trouble comes if you have a no horn gene the no horn gene will override all of them it's very dominant you really want to try to remove that from your tribe if you're going for horns entirely so we're going to try to remove it very soon here. Mia needs a little bit of grooming. She has four days left. How many babies are we going to be leaving behind? Two, four, six, eight, ten already. That's a good tribe size. Mia, how many E immunity genes have you passed on, my love? E immunity is one of our rarest. And only baby Rhea has it. So let's go ahead and have another baby. We're going to have another baby with Mar. Because he is a good genetic carrier of those genes. So we're going to scooch her over. We're going to go ahead and Mar will pluck off the leech she got. Oh no, come on, Mia. Oh no, Mia. <laughs> All right, Mar is going to flirt with her a little bit. Oh, thank goodness. And it, Mia is now expecting. And Joe... You also would have a healthy baby with Mar, and you have two days left. <sighs> All right, go ahead and let her become pregnant, and then we'll wait for one of the babies to jump out of the way. And then, oh, Rox only has one day left. Oh, geez. All right, Rox, I'm going to have Rox jump down. And there we go, and she's going to be quite comfy and hopefully leave behind another healthy baby. And meanwhile, I feel like Willow has possibly waited long enough, but I'm gonna have her plunk her nest down somewhere that might have a little bit more in resources. 
It seems like the resources sometimes really get jammed up around the ports, but that's probably just my imagination. All right. And meanwhile, the babies can start moving out. Kurumi, you, and Font can go ahead and start swimming and exploring. The ocean is a much bigger place than uh, the land can technically be, after all. You have, to, you have to swim much further to find your way to resources. That's one of the first lessons I think these little ones are learning. But all right, Rox, thank you so much, so much for joining us on this journey. If you remember, Rox grew up standing next to one of the berry bushes where she would collect all of the delicious juicy berries and share them with her tribe. She is one of the few nichelings in the tribe now who still remember what it was like to live on land. All of their children will only remember the time of the ocean and the story that the bones of their, their fallen will become the shells of a great giant crabbits that roam far in the depths which I love as their little cultural background. But let's see what baby she will leave behind now. Oh, goodbye, Rox, but holy cow! Oh no, he's sickly! Thank you. Thankfully, it's really easy to stay far apart when you are sickly in the water. That's a good thing. And this little guy is going to be named Mal after animal lover. We're gonna pluck out, whoops, we're gonna pluck out a chunk of your name and nicheling size it, one of my new favorite things to do. And other than the fact that he is sickly, which sucks and might drive us to try to find if there is some healing to be had on land, uh, or also his father flu might go ahead and give it a little purr so that hopefully he will be able to, oh, there's some nice food right there. Don't want to pass that up. Hopefully that will help Mal maybe slow down his illness and we will discover even more how important that purring can be. So maybe we really do need to spend some time up on land gathering the sticky fruit and getting the purring unlocked. And then we have this little baby. Oh no, he's a little spiky baby porcupine. He's gonna drown. Oh, this is terrible. This is an emergency. This is an emergency. Oh geez. All right, Rao. This is Rao after Rosie. And Rao, you're a little baby porcupine born under the water. This is very bad. We need to get him onto the surface ASAP. I am so worried that he's just not gonna make it and he's going to drown. Oh dear. Okay. That's getting a little bit more drama than I was expecting going in the tribe from a very early young age. Let's go ahead and have Flu maybe, okay. We're gonna send Car over. Car, what can you do? You can gather fish fish. That's what you can do. Uh, we're gonna send Car over so that I can come over here with Flu and he's going to purr to try to help Rao not drown underwater. Poor Mia! I didn't know that she was gonna, like she has recessive big body. Who did she breed with? It was with Mar, Mar! You can toss porcupine babies. Ah, we're gonna have to be really careful about that. Oh dear. Oh my, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna have Mia swim into the nest to have another baby. Cause we're just, we have a ton of food so we can afford to have this many children just dashing about suddenly. I'm gonna have Jo get ready to have her baby. Meanwhile, Quinn can start moving out. Font can collect what he wants. Let's see, Kurumi is a good fisher. Um, but I don't know if she's good enough to be able to get that fish. Willow, I think, should probably be allowed to... Oh, here we go. We'll probably have her nest over here. So I'm going to have Kurumi swim down. Maybe try to fish. We'll try to get that guy. Nope. All right. All right. Well, a little bit of drama going on <laughs> for our nichelings. Uh, we do have a lot more babies suddenly coming. Beak, I think I'm going to let her swim a little further. Yeah, we've got a lot of babies. Suddenly the ocean is just teeming with offspring. Uh, I think I'm going to let Beak actually swim out a little further too. Because I think that we'll start moving the group just a bit. Oh, and Fire, hey! Okay, and Leo... I think she is, something about Leo just makes me feel like she's quite intelligent. She stands out a little bit to me. There we go. Now don't purr at them, fire. There we go. 
<laughs> and fire at least managed to catch those fish. So we'll continue moving around the corners. Hopefully we will find enough fish. We might have to go on a little expedition on to the surface for food. But we have a little drowning baby porcupine. <laughs> That we're going to try very hard to take care of and more bones to add into the abyss where the great giant crabbits roam, so legend says. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our little nichelings as they begin to take their first little swimming steps into the open ocean. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.